Josh here from Get Bricked, and today we're going on a ride along with a policeman and his ATV from Make It Blocks. So let's take it for a spin. Thank you again for joining us here today with Get Bricked. Today we're checking out the Make It Blocks Policeman with ATV. Now this was a fun little build. Uh, we just got this at a local dollar store. It was not a very expensive set and it only has 25 pieces. And an odd thing about Make It Blocks is it doesn't seem to have the set number on the outside of the box. I did find on the instructions on the inside, it does say that it's item number 79333. So I'm going to assume that that may be the set number itself, but it's odd that they don't have that on the outside of the box. Now being an ATV, of course, it does have some wheels so it can roll around. They are made out of plastic though, so bear that in mind. They are a little bit loud when you get them moving, but it does still roll pretty nicely. Now let's take a closer look at this minifigure in there. Now the Make It Blocks minifigures are a little bit odd and they're not very poseable. Uh, we do get the uh, head that can kind of move from side to side, of course, and the hat can kind of adjust a little bit. But other than that, like the main body of the figure is just one standard piece. And they've actually included the seat and the steering wheel into the mold for the figure. So that's an interesting touch and it's all kind of contained as one unit. So you don't have to worry about messing around with a steering wheel piece or a seat piece or anything like that. It's just a shame because they did that. It's all molded as one color. And I would have loved to have seen the seat or the steering wheel in a different color maybe white or black just to fit in with the rest of the look of the ATV. Now switching over to the ATV, you'll notice it's largely done up with the blue and white, a bit of black accenting as well. And then we do get the yellow on the front and the back. Now the, on the front, it is a yellow translucent piece. It's got a bit of a curve to it, so it's not like a flat piece. And then we do get the one by one blue translucent round piece for when he's got his lights going when he's in a pursuit. Now altogether, the ATV looks pretty good for a small little dollar store set. And with the minifigure on it, it doesn't look too bad because it fills in the middle. But if you take the minifigure off, then it does make it seem like it's going to be a little bit flimsy because it's just got the one piece connecting the front and the bottom. Uh, I'm kind of worried if I drop it, it's just going to shatter and go everywhere. But other than that, and the lack of the rubber wheels, I think for the most part, it's not a bad value. It was only a couple dollars, so it's not like you're blowing your paycheck. <laughs> So let me know your thoughts on this ATV set in the comments below. And let me know your thoughts on the minifigure too. It's a bit of a different kind of style than what we've seen on some of the other sets we've done. But leave that in the comments below and make sure you guys like and subscribe and get that bell on because then you can stay up to date whenever we release our next video. Now, so long as you don't end up in a pursuit, just be sure to tell everyone that you just got bricked.